guys, this is Michelle. I am the Baby with Jill Tarot, and today I'm coming with your reading. Before anything, I want to apologize because I have been absent in my channel because I was sick. And I did this video before, but guess what? Your girl put it without an audio. For some reason, it did not record any sort of audio. So either way, I'm here. I'm back with your reading. Before I start, quick reminders that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will and not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Just take what it does and let go whatever it does not resonate, okay? With that said, phew, phew, let's take a look at what the universe has for you. Oops, let me try one more time. There we go. Let's see what Taurus needs to know. Let's see what the universe wants you to know, Taurus. Let's see what Taurus needs to know. Thank you, Spirit. We got the Star card. Ooh, the Tower card. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. The King of Pentacles. And that reverse. Thank you, Spirit. We got the Eight of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. We have the Page of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. We got the Death card. Interesting. It's right underneath the Tower. You have the King of Swords. You got the Moon card. Oh, Pisces energy here. As the overall energy, King of Cups. I'm sorry, Nine of Cups and the Two of Cups. I have Leo and Gemini energy also. For some reason, I'm getting Scorpio and Virgo. That's just, so you guys know, I don't really focus in the signs because it don't really matter. But just so you know, those are the signs that are popping and they're telling me, like my spirit guides are telling me. Okay, so I feel like you were happy and you were happy. You were uh, hoping for like happiness. I feel like the, the star card and water is emotions though so you had emotions for somebody or you were starting to get emo like you know getting like attached and like having those emotions for somebody and i think you thought you found your person it was like oh i found my person this is gonna work just great um he she is the one but i feel like it did not went like that something happened and that changed though because look at this the tower card it's like everything crumbling to the floor and just pretty much every uh, like not everybody but the people involved just going on their own way on their own journey you know and pretty much starting over hmm the nine of pentacles yeah this is a definitely about a person that it was a new relationship or it was a connection that you thought you had potentials of starting a new relationship with but I don't feel it happened, though. I feel like something happened, and it did not. I hear cheating, lies, and, like, not being on the same page. But this person did not. I feel like this person was not honest with you, Taurus. This person was not honest with you. And I feel like you found out. You found out. And that's why. It could be a marriage. It could have been a relationship, you know, not necessarily marriage. But I feel somebody lied about something. And maybe somebody said that they were faithful, somebody said that they loved you or so, and you feel, not you feel, but you like realize that it was not true because of their actions. And I feel it took a lot of, a lot of like strength and it was really painful towards, but you had to walk away. And it could have been like, if it's like a cross watcher looking at the, the video, it don't really matter. It could be either or Taurus or cross watcher, okay? Either way, um, it, it took a lot of like guts, you know, to take your cup and walk away. It was not something easy. It was not something that you wanted it to do or you wanted to happen. Because I feel like you did care for this person. You 100% um, think that you thought this, you found your person. You thought that you you found the one, you know. And this person did not, I think they project themselves as being like really loving, really faithful, like picture perfect kind of person, you know. But I feel like this person was lying. This person was just like hiding under a mask, you know? Then we got the Page of Pentacles right here and the Death card right here. It's like you had you had to take what was left of you and just pretty much take uh, action and just 
end something and start something else. Again, the death card is not always like literally dying. It's pretty much like rebirth, you know, like transformation. And I feel like you were like, damn, I had to take what is left and just rebuild, you know, like just make sure like bye-bye and then move on, you know, kind of vibe. And I feel like now that you did this, I feel somebody is back. It's underneath that king of pentacles right here. But they're coming back really aggressive. I want to be, um, I want you to be careful because this person comes in aggressive though. They come in as like, they have the right to come in and like tell you what to do or tell you like hey come back like we belong together like it's like they they want to take action like now they want like a real relationship like a serious relationship but as of right now they feel like you have to say yes you know kind of like that that's the vibe that i'm getting like like oh you cannot say no you have to say yes because it's like oh you wanted this to happen before and now i'm giving it to you so you have to like say yes kind of vibe so i wouldn't say it's like scary vibe but it's like like they think you have to say yes like oh i changed or i'm doing exactly what you wanted me to do in the past you know and they feel just because they're showing you um what they should have showed you in the past now you have to be like yeah i'm taking you back not necessarily because i feel like they betrayed you they did not act right in the beginning so now they're coming back does not mean that you're gonna take them back you know of course, some of you are going to take them back. Some other ones, they, you won't, you know, because everybody's their own person. But either way, this person is coming back. But you have to be aware, this person is shady. This person is not honest. Even though that they're, put, like, giving you a front of, like, oh, I'm honest, I change, or and so on. This person is still lying to you. This person is not honest. There's things that you need to know. Um, they have, like, maybe other intentions with this comeback. I'm not sure what it is it could be financially it could be just emotionally because I feel like you were an amazing partner and you are the amazing like the kind of partner that will be there for whoever needs it you know and that is one of the things they like because I'm not gonna lie they like that but they're coming back but they're not actually being completely honest you know there is deceiving vibes lying um, they're not, again, they're not completely honest. So I don't feel like this person is somebody that you can trust. I will say they're not trustworthy. Again, they're coming back. Look at that. They're coming back. But this was in reverse, sorry. They're coming back, but actually, just be careful because it's not a give and take. It's not what you want. It's not what you thought it is. I'm, I'm sensing, again... They're going to give you a front of like, oh, look at this. I'm sorry. This is all I have. I love you. Like, there you go. Nah, -uh, it's not a give and take. And it goes with this right here. It goes that they're not completely honest. Their intentions are different. Or maybe, but they are, maybe they're saying that, oh, I changed. I won't hurt you no more. That's a lie. That is a lie. It is not a give and take relationship. It is not pure it is not honest though this person is not honest so you have to be careful with this energy okay taurus you have to be careful like there's a reason why you walked away what is taurus person's intentions with taurus what is taurus person's intentions with taurus with this comeback what is their intention though what is their real intentions please spirit Okay, they want to confuse you. They want you to keep you stuck because they feel like you, they feel like they are losing you. They feel like you're walking away. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, they feel like they're, that you're walking away from them, that they're losing you. And they just don't want you to walk away. They don't want you to leave. Please, all that energy. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, they just don't want you to leave. You got the Two of Swords right here, the Strength card, Queen of Swords in reverse, Seven of Cups right here, the Wheel of Fortune, Temperance card in reverse, Page of Cups in reverse, the Four of Pentacles right here in reverse, and the overall energy, we got three cards, Five of Wands, Ten of Swords in reverse, and then we got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So, huh, this person wants to keep you um, 
confused so you can actually stay stuck so you don't actually take no sort of action because i feel this person has noticed that you have actually gained some sort of like like strength when it comes to like walking away from them you know and they don't want you to walk away because i feel you're done waiting for them you're done waiting for them to change and all that and they just don't want you to leave because they like your presence they like your energy because again they like you they feed off of it you know and they don't want you to leave and I feel like they don't want you to take action or make a choice of this is what I want. If you don't give it, I'm walking away, you know, because I feel like some of you are taking already that some of you will be taking the action. Some other ones will be thinking about it. You know, again, this person wants you to stay with them, to not go anywhere, to like to not move. Right. And it's because you have noticed that you have options. You got options, and I feel you have success coming your way. But if you stay in this energy of, like, staying with them, you're not going to be able to enjoy the new opportunities, the new uh, chances that the universe wants to give you, though. And it's because they don't want you to know that or to realize that there's better options. You know, there's better options out there for you. There is, oops, there is a new chance. Look, good luck coming your way, a change of direction. And it's because if you are done waiting for them or you go like, you know, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. That's the only word I hear. If you are done and you actually take the action to walk away, there's good news. There is new opportunities, a new beginning though. And this, if you decide to like stop waiting on this person. Because it's not, for, I know this story is not going to resonate with everybody because this is a specific scenario, Okay. With the page of, um, of cups right here in reverse and the four of cups right here. This person is unattached from their emotions. I don't see them being able to offer you what you want. Whatever they give you is so small. You deserve a lot better. Why are you taking such little amount of love? Why are you accepting this, you know? You deserve so much more. And I feel like you realize that, but you actually ignore it because you go like, oh, this person is better than the other persons that I had in the past. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess, right? But, like, it's because you choose kind of like the same type of person. Not necessarily their body or, like, the same type, like, looking alike, but their personalities are pretty alike. You have a type, and it's like the toxic uh, type, the type that does not love you how you deserve, you know? So, but, but why are you accepting something that you know it's not good enough? Because I feel you know your worth, but still, you accept whatever this person gives you that you know it's not enough. And you're not even doubtful. You know that this person is not good enough. And you know that this person is not going to change. And it's like you're ignoring your own thoughts. You're ignoring your own, your own intuition. Like, this is not going to change. They're going to keep hurting you. They're going to keep on cheating. They're going to keep on playing you. They're not. They're going to keep on not committing to you. They're not going to change. So, it's like you discover the truth, but you stay with them. So, why are you even trying to look for signs? Why are you even trying to discover things? Or saying, like, please, angels, or please, whoever you ask for, you know, give me a sign so I can leave or I can move on. And they give it to you, and you still stay. So, why are you doing that, you know? So if you want to stay, of course, just please stay. But do not be like, oh, if I get another sign, I'll do it. No, you have been given signs. This is another sign for you. But you you know this already. It's just like, I don't know. I know you love them or care for them. But sometimes we got to love ourselves more, you know. First, we got to put, put ourselves first. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. It's not working. This foundation that you have created in your head or maybe you have created this relationship, it is not working. It is not prospering. It is not growing. You might even have financial financial issues. Like when something is wrong in the energy, when the vibes are off, everything around it goes to hell pretty much. So when something does not work, when the vibes are not working, nothing surrounding that vibe is going to work. So it's like, you know, this is not working. You know, this might not grow. For some of you, this this has been going for a while. It's like an on and off. It could be like a pattern. It could be like a, like a cycle. And you know this. But again, you choose to stay. 
And I don't mean to be mean. And I hate to be like the messenger of bad news. But I'm just delivering the message the Spirit is telling me for whoever needs to hear this. So what is the message from your angels, Taurus? Let's see what is the message from your angels. Two cards, please, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Unlikely. Unlikely. Remain positive. Please. Thank you, Spirit. And success. Whatever it is that you're asking, it's unlikely. But remain positive. There's success. Just take it how it resonates. They told me to get one more. Trust. And they told me to get another one. Look. Look. This was already flipped. Choose a direction. Choose a new direction. Choose a new direction. Trust. Unlikely. Remain positive. Success. Those are the messages. I usually give two, but they keep telling me, they kept telling me to give you more and more. Um, I'm going to give you guys a little prayer. If you guys believe in saints and angels, you can take this. If you guys don't, just let it go. But this is for whoever uh, believes in angels or likes to pray or so. They, I'm going to try to give you a prayer. Let's see. Thank you, Spirit. So this is the card. That's how it looks like. And this is um, Psalm 20, 23rd. Psalm 23rd. So, that is the one for you. That is what the angels are giving you. And last but not least, I'm going to give you a number. The quest for this number is to find, you guys need to find the spiritual meaning of this number. You're going to look it up on Google search or if you got a book or so, but just keep in mind, you have to find the spiritual meaning of this number because this number is given to you by your ancestors, your guides, your angels, the creator, the universe, you know, you name it, however you want to name it. You got number three here. And they told me to give you one more, one more spirit, just one more. Just too many cards. Let's see if I can get you one more. I feel like I need to thank you, Spirit. They told me. To. And seven. So you got number three and number seven. You can look at them both. You can look at 37. You can look at three or seven, okay? So that is what I got for you, Taurus. Thank you so very much for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. And I'm going to try to give you... Um, every week a video i'm working on a schedule but again thank you so much and i'll be back bye